YouTube. So today I have a huge collective haul for you guys. I'm probably going to break it up into two or three videos depending on how long I take. Um, this is going to include shoes, makeup, beauty products, accessories, and clothing. So I'm going to start off with shoes. So let's move on. So the first pair of shoes I bought are called Bamboo. And I got them at Agassi. And they are some cute leopard wedges that look like this. And they're very comfortable. I wore them already. got a lot of compliments on them. Um, the platform and the wedge just support your feet so they don't feel like heels. And it's just like a fake suede material and has a zipper on the side. So these are the little booty wedges I got. And these were about $32. So I got those. The next pair of shoes I bought from Agassi are called Glaze. And they're just some knockoff Jeffrey Campbells. So they look like this. And they just have, once again, the platform and a thick heel. So these are very comfortable to wear. I wore these out for dancing and um, they did not bother my feet at all. And I like the little strap in the middle. And it has a peep toe. So... These are the glaze shoes, and these were also about $32 at Agassi. Then at Charlotte Russe, I saw these cute little booties, and I couldn't pass them. They're knockoffs, once again, um, from Jeffrey Campbell. And they were $48.50. I saw them on the mannequin, and they were just too cute to pass by. So, I got these little glitter booties. I know if you guys can see the glitter. This lighting doesn't do the glitter justice, but in person, these sparkle a lot more. Just look like this, with the zipper on the side. They're really, really cute. The original Jeffrey Campbell ones cost like $160, and these were $48.50. So it was buy one, get the second for $10. So these are at Charlotte Russe. Next, at Aldo, I got these men-inspired Oxfords. But they're in the women's section, and they look like this. I don't know if you guys can see the detailing. They're not real leather, I don't know what type of material this is, so I'm not sure on what to do when they get scuffed or if they need to be polished, if you can polish them. But they were $60 to $70, and I love these shoes. Um, you know the lazy days where I just want to like throw on a t-shirt and jeans? I could throw on these, and I'll still look stylish, which I have done already, and I love them. And they're pretty comfortable. Um, they kind of hurt at the end of the day, but that's after like 10 hours, so you should be good with these. Lastly, I had to get the official Jeffrey Campbell shoes. So this is the box, and it's just like a whole bunch of puzzle pieces. And I've been wanting these since last year and I finally had the courage to buy them and look like this and they're just black uh, leather and they have all sorts of different colors but I just wanted the original black so it can match with more things and once again it has a big platform and a chunky heel so these are really comfortable and they're real leather so it gives out a little bit so let me show you the comparison with the knockoffs and the real ones so the Jeffrey Campbell, I think, are a little more squarish, and this is like, you can't really tell the big difference. A little bit, but, yep, these are the knockoffs, these are the originals, and they do have um, the real Jeffrey Campbells in pink glitter, white glitter, so yeah, and I think at Charlotte Russe, they only have these in pink and black, so. That is it for my shoe section of the haul. And I am going to move on to accessories and jewelry. So I have everything in this little bag. I'm just going to pull things out randomly and tell you where I bought it at. So, first thing I got is this chain necklace from Claire's. And it's just um, like a tortoise plastic type of thing going on. And I thought it would look really cute with... Um, like layering it on with some gold necklaces. It was $14.50, but I know that I'm going to wear it. So, oh, 
coat on. Okay, that took a minute. So I know that I'm going to wear this a lot, so I was willing to wear the 1450, but I thought it was plastic, so I thought it was kind of expensive, but um, I think it's really cute. Got that. Then at Forever 21, I got some gold square bangles. They look like this. I think I'm missing a few. I probably am. But you get the idea. I think these are like five something. And then I got this other bracelet right here. Let me show you what it looks like on. And it's just like a black strap. And it has like pink string intertwined. It has these silver spikes coming out. So I thought it was really cute. Um, I wanted to layer these with a whole bunch of like beaded bracelets. I thought it would look really cute. And I think this was like $4.80. So got that. Then I got, everything's all tangled. I got this necklace, and it just has an acrylic reindeer, which is why I got it. Um, not because of the reindeer, but I like the idea of the acrylic. And it was $4.80. And I already have an outfit that I plan on wearing this for. So the reindeer just reminds me of fall, with the gold little chain. So this is cute. And then I got these like color blocking hoops. I don't really like the orange, but I like I do like color and they do seem to stand out. So I got these and these were $4.80. And lastly at Forever 21 or Forever Love, I got these black dangly earrings. They have like these black bullet spikes or something. I don't really like dangly earrings, but I thought these were different. And I'm planning on wearing like one, one dangly earring and then like a stud or something. And these were $3.80. They reminded me of Rihanna for some reason. Got that. And then lastly for jewelry, I got this like strap bracelet. And I got it from Magasi and it's just a red strap. And I got it because of all the gemstones and the chains linked together. I think it's really cute. Um... Later on in my clothing haul, I'll show you a dress that I plan on wearing this with. So, And I think this was $11.50. I'm not sure if I said it already. So that is it for my jewelry haul. Um, I'm going to move on to makeup and beauty products. So this is the bag with all my beauty and makeup products. So I'm just going to pull, once again, random things out. Because I'm dying to put all this stuff away. So I got my Clinique lotion and it's just a yellow bottle looks like this I've used this for a long time um, I ran out and I started using Cetaphil but Cetaphil is just too oily for my skin so I just went back to Clinique and you can find that at Macy's or Sephora pretty much everywhere then at Walgreens I got this bio oil and it's for scars, stretch marks, uneven skin tone, aging skin, dehydrated skin it has purcellin uh, oil, and just looks like this. This is a smaller bottle. This is two fluid ounces, and the bigger bottle is like $25. This one was like $14, $15 at Walgreens. Oops. So I'll probably do a review and try it out and let you guys know if it works or not. Got that. Then at Walgreens, I also got this Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs. And I absolutely love this. I wore it once already, and it works. It's not a dramatic change in color, but um, it does make your your skin look a little more even toned, and your legs just look toner and like more fit. I don't know if that makes sense. It has a little bit of shimmer. So I got light glow, and I think there's medium and then dark. So, love this. This was $14, $15 once again. Just like Candy was raving about it, so I wanted to try it out. Then, at Target, I got this Bedhead Spoil Me Defrizzer Deep Smoother and Instant Restyler. I don't wash my hair every day, so because I have really curly hair, it tends to get frizzy, so I thought this might help. The packaging was cute. So I got that. And then I got this EOS Shaving Cream. And I like the packaging because it's pink. And I love their lip balm, lip 
I can't even talk today. The chapsticks. And I want to try something else from their brand. This is like a lotion consistency. It doesn't foam up and you can shave with or without water, which is what I liked. And it's pomegranate and raspberry. It has aloe and shea butter and it smells really good. It just smells like raspberries, blueberries. It smells really fruity. That was like three dollars. Then I got this Aussie split end protector. Um, I like the smell. I don't know if it really works yet because I've only worn it, like used it for two months or so. My fr Garnier Fructis, I used it for like eight months and I like definitely saw the di uh, difference in my hair. So I'll let you guys know if this is comparable to that or better or not. So got that. It smells like milk and honey. Then I just got this Tresemme mousse. And boring. I got a teasing comb from Sally's Beauty Supply. And I'm just throwing everything. And I got a blue mascara. Somebody on YouTube, I'll probably link their YouTube or post in the side or something what the person's name was. They were using wearing this blue mascara and they were talking about how it worked. So I wanted to try it out for myself. I've always wanted like a green or purple mascara. So, I'm hoping it works for me. And it's called um, Electric Blue by Femme Couture. Then I went to MAC to turn in like my six recyclable items. If you didn't know, if you uh, return six items from MAC, like after you finish using them, you get a free lipstick. So I got Please Me. And it's just like a pink color. It looks like that. Kind of looks like Snob, a little darker. Got that. And then I got this EOS, which is what I was talking about before. Chapstick, and it's just circular. I have the, the orange one. I don't know what flavor that is, but this is strawberry, and it's pink. And it smells good. The orange one, I thought it was cute because that's the first time I ever saw these EOS chapsticks. But I hated the smell. So... I'm glad they came out with strawberry. I think they have like melon fruit and lemon and stuff like that. Then I went to Sephora finally and I got my mink eyelashes like always. I use these when I go out to a club or something, have some special event. And I got this cute Hello Kitty perfume that I've been contemplating on buying every time I go. I finally got it. I just like Hello Kitty obviously. It's pink. It smells good, and I like the little pump, which is why I want to get it. Just old school. And this was $55. And lastly, one of my most exciting purchases, I finally got my Naked palette, which I'm so excited about. I know I'm probably the last person to get this. And I thought about buying two just in case, like, I love it and they're sold out again, but... I can wait. I don't even know if I'm going to like it. Well, I'm sure I will, but here are all the colors. And I'm so excited to use this. It comes with a primer potion. Some people love it, some people don't. So I'm going to try it out for myself and see if I like it or not. So that is it for my makeup and beauty products and I will move on to my clothing haul. See you guys.